Okay, so is everything set up for Maddie's Nightmare Before Christmas going away party? Back job's all set. Table set. All of Maddie's gifts are on the bench. Okay, you guys, meet at the bottom of the stairs. I am going to grab Maddie, okay? Yes. Hey, Maddie? Yeah? What are you doing right now? Uh, just packing up a couple last things. Okay, can you come out with your eyes closed? What is this for? Just keep your eyes closed. Where are we going? We're going down the stairs. One more, just stay there. So keep your eyes closed until I tell you to open them, okay? Closed? Yeah. Okay. All right, open your eyes. Surprise! What is this? We're throwing you a surprise party. It's Nightmare Before Christmas. It's your favorite movie. So get dressed. Oh my gosh, thank you guys. Hey, Zam Fam, it's Rebecca Zamol, and today we are surprising my cousin Maddie by throwing her a Nightmare Before Christmas themed going away party. Because it's her favorite holiday movie. As of like a month ago. You guys know that Maddie is moving out and I am clearly upset about it. We're all upset about it. The party will show her all the wonderful times and memories she's had here. Are you serious, Zoe? What? Zoe, you obviously don't know what's going on here. Okay, listen. So we are throwing her this surprise party so we can convince her not to leave and not to move out, Zamfam. We don't want Maddie going away. Oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. So remember, throughout this going away party, we have to keep reminding her of all the bad things that can happen when you live alone. I'll be focusing on ghosts, her biggest fear. I'll be focusing on dating or lack of it. I'll be focusing on really bad Wi-Fi and crime. And I'll be focusing on how lonely it will be living alone without any of her friends or her favorite cousin. You guys! So, Sam fam, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Give the video a thumbs up so Maddie will stay here and not move out. Oh, and I'm announcing the giveaway winners for the 10 million subscriber giveaway. Rebecca, so stay tuned. No. You did all of this for me? Really sad you're moving out. But we wanted to give you a big send off. I also have a surprise that I told that no one else about and oh they're here right now hey come on in hello everybody I am Jack and I will be your MC for the evening yes guys I hired Jack to be the MC of this going away party because nightmare before Christmas we have to make it epic oh look I see something that can use the stuff in music I'll be right back you guys may go and watch yourself thanks Jack okay Zam fam I am so excited right now we have an MC that's gonna MC this entire party to make sure nothing goes wrong guys we should mingle but remember the plan you guys oh Maddie I'm so excited for you moving okay. into your own place yeah. Independent women, yes. <laughs> but you know, you're really gonna have to invest in some kind of like ATD security because statistically, single females living alone are most prone to unprecedented horrific crime. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, is that a new hacker wire? Okay. Due to recent security breaches, I've upgraded my access protocols. Please insert the proper code. Man, I remember when I moved out on my own, but you know what? My place was haunted. It was kind of scary with all these ghosts. You don't live in an old building, do you? Yeah. Zoe, don't touch that wire. Daniel's voice saying DDoS, Rebecca's fingerprint, Maddie's favorite number, and a retinal scan from Matt. You know, I was just uh, texting my aunt. She's alone and single, and it actually all started when she moved out on her own in college. But that's not going to happen to you because there's plenty of places to find guys. Like hey, Matt, the sign or... just fell over there. Can you just put it back up? I'm not tall enough. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. So I guess it's your going away party, right? Yeah. I was remembering all the TikToks that we do together, slumber parties, all of that. Do you remember when we like put face masks on? On, and then they harden. You know? Oh, yes. That's <laughs> never gonna happen again. I mean, it can still happen, right? Not really. Zam fam, I really appreciate them throwing this going away party for me, but I guess I never really put much thought into what bad things can happen living alone. Oh, well, it's okay. I can do this. Hey, I'm gonna need more time. Make it fast. I'm getting impatient. Wait, I made a dance to the song. I know, I saw you, I was spying, and I recorded it, sent it to everyone, and we all learned the move. Wait, are we doing a TikTok flash mob? Yes, we are! Talks by yourself. Only in a group like that. It's not as fun alone. Okay, now it's time for spin the bottle to the bear. Let's go. 
All right, you guys, let's go. Spin the bottle, truth or dare. What they don't know is that I replaced the top two cards of the dare pile with my pranks. And trust me, you don't want to draw the dare card. Okay, Zam fam, do you think it's working? Do you think we are convincing Maddie not to leave? We don't want her moving out, but it seems like she's pretty set on it. Comment below. Are we doing a good job? What else should we say to her? Come on, come on. Okay, everyone, welcome to Spin the Bottle, Truth or Dare. What you're gonna do is you're gonna spin the bottle, and then whoever lands on, you gotta pick a truth or dare. Over there on the ground, we're gonna get started, so come on over. Who wants to spin the bottle first? I guess I will. Okay, ZamFam, so I spin the bottle. Whoever it lands on has to pick a truth or a dare. Who do you think it's gonna land on? Oh! oh. Before we do that, I'm gonna switch out this bottle because you know what? I have this one here, and you know what geniuses pick green. So we're gonna go ahead and use this one from now on. I'm gonna replace this and go recycle it. You guys continue on. So do you wanna do truth or dare? Definitely doing truth. Okay. Truth. Woo. All right, Zam Fam, he is doing truth. Comment below what question you think he's gonna have to answer. Maybe he has another secret. All right, I did the truth. It says, what's one reason you would never live alone? Ooh, that's a good one. I know, there's so many to choose from, but I would say I never would have fell in love. By living alone? Yeah, my roommates encouraged me to go and find love. They said, uh, quit hanging out in the apartment by yourself. It's not good for you. What? And that's when I met Rebecca. Beautiful day of my life. Oh my goodness, that's really cute. Got a little emotional, but I'm gonna spin this now. Whoa. Oh, oh damn. damn. Oh. I think I'm gonna do a truth as well. Okay. Good choice. Truth. truth. Okay, what's the worst thing that can happen when you live alone? Well, when I lived alone, I saw a lot of ghosts. My place was haunted. I didn't know where to go. I didn't have anybody to turn to. I didn't know who to call. Like, no Ghostbusters or anybody. So the worst thing that could happen was just dealing with all those ghosts alone. Scared me so much. Wait, scared me you so bad. alone, Daniel? I did. I'm so sorry. I know. Wait, I know. Daniel, I just realized you're wearing evil Daniel's outfit. Whoa. Oh, you're right. That's kind of creepy. It's probably because I lived alone. No! We're talking Okay, like okay. We're talking like that. This just reminded me of Home Alone. Do you remember? when the RHS tried to overtake the home, I barely held them off, and then Evil Daniel did everything. That was Home Alone, the title of the video. One of the scariest times of my life. Yeah, so What's many bad on? things happened. We weren't even here. I mean, yeah, but they know about your house. They're always trying to get into your house. The RHS don't know about my apartment. Unless there's a tracking device on you. Yeah, sure, they yeah. yeah, they could yep. follow you home. Let's keep going with this truth or dare spin the bottle. I get to spin. All right, here we go. Oh! these truth questions, so I'm gonna go with dare. Oh. You are? Okay. Just, 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 just. What is the dare, Maddie? Yeah. Use ghost app in the merch closet. Oh. I, I, don't, I don't have my phone with me. Oh, I I, you can use my phone. I'll face my biggest fear in the merch closet. Okay. All right, Sam fam, I'm super excited about this prank because it's prank time and I haven't been inside the van since I was the imposter. Ghost time, let's go. Okay, Zane Pam, it looks like I'm about to face my biggest fear and use the ghost app in the merch closet. Okay, I got this. Nope, nope, I can't do it, I can't do it. But I have to, I have to do the dare. They threw this going away party for me, okay. No, 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 I'm too scared, I'm too scared. Okay, okay, mind over matter, face your biggest fear. Guys, I found something strange at my house in my closet. I don't know how I got it, but it is Nightmare Before Christmas. You think I should use it? I might be able to scare somebody here. Comment down below, let me know if I should. Okay, Zane Pam, here we go. Do you think there's gonna be any ghosts? I have the ghost app on my phone right now. Okay, nothing yet, maybe that means there's no ghost. Oh no, there's a green one right over there. Ghost, are you a nice ghost? Oh no, it's red, it's red. Where did Matt go? I don't yeah, know. he just took off. I know, I think he went into the living room, Zamfam. Why did he go there? Rebecca, do you think this is working? Do you think you're discouraging Maddie? I think it's working, but I think we have to go even more extreme, you guys. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Whatever we do, we need Maddie to decide not to move out by the end of this, okay? <laughs> <gasps> oh no, that wasn't good. I think it's working. Oh no, she seems really mad right now. I can't believe Matt did that. At least if I lived alone, I wouldn't have to deal with pranks. Hey, oh no, 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 no. Why did you do that, Matt? Wait, what? I didn't do anything. Why? Listen, Maddie, I'm sorry that was not part of the surprise party, but there is no more pranks, right, Matt? Yeah, no more pranks. So you calm down? Yeah, somewhat. Well, Maddie, it is your turn to spin the bottle, okay? Matt, are you serious? We're trying to get her to stay here, not want to move out. Just trying to show her what it's like to have ghosts okay, on your own. There better not be any more pranks, okay? Okay. Yeah, there's no more pranks. Okay, I'm gonna spin the bottle. Zoe! So you guys did two truths and one dare. So I'm gonna choose uh, back to truth again because I always tell the truth. <laughs> All right, truth, 
shoot, shoot, shoot. Ready? What's one thing you can't do when you live alone? You can't do is you can't not get burglarized. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Like 100.1% of statistics show that pretty much single females living alone usually get burglarized, harassed. Really? This is true? Yeah, you also can't set up a Wi-Fi router by yourself. It's like super complicated. Really? Yeah, the cable companies don't let you. Yeah, you have to have a man come in and do it, which means you have a man in your house. Wait, it has to be a man? We need to change that because women are strong. Well, actually, except me. I do it all the time. Yeah, but Maddie would probably need a little bit of help being alone. I do need Wi-Fi to hack. Okay, I'm the only one left. This is fine. This is part of the game. And I am going to go with Dare. <gasps> Dare. Dare. I'm not doing truth. Sorry, I thought I heard you say truth. You right? can't control me, Matt. I am doing a dare because I am not afraid of anything. Okay. Stay in the movie theater for one minute. No. I'm dropping the card because I got this. Okay, this is not really a dare, but I'll go in the movie theater for a minute. Here she goes to the movie theater. Okay, guys, I think we should all make a best friend pact right now. Whatever happens to any of us in the next like 20 minutes, we all just protect each other, okay? Why do we need to protect each other? I yeah. Just protect each other at all costs. Okay, so one minute in the movie theater. <gasps> That's what we do. Whoa! Uh, what happened? Whoa! What's going on? Matt? Oh my gosh. This is why Matt put this in. Matt definitely is pranking again. You guys remember when we pranked the Halloween hacker? Matt got this snake from someone. Hi. Hi, snake. It's gonna be up here. I just have to stay for one minute, Zamfam. It's a dare. That is a huge snake. Huh? Ah! No, it's not me. Ah! Why is Rebecca screaming? I don't know. You guys, comment below. Do you think that Matt did this and set this up? I mean, this wasn't one of the dares we were supposed to do. Okay, maybe, maybe we can make friends. I just touched a snake, okay. You guys, I'm so mad at Matt. As soon as I get out of here, I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. Oh, but where's the snake going? What? You guys hear that? Oh, oh. Okay, you know what? Uh, <laughs> I think a minute's up. I'm gonna go. Not cool! Best friend pack! Not Best cool. friend pack! That was you! What? You what? pranked me! You put a giant snake in the movie theater, you guys! Maddie, that was not part of your going away party at all! That's not even part of Nightmare Before Christmas, Matt! It's not? You know what? You okay, guys, I'm gonna go to the restroom, okay? Just stop everything! Scanning Rebecca's fingerprint. Please insert the next two codes. Did you hack the computer yet? I'm close. Get closer. Uh, Jack? Hey, what's going on? Uh, what are you doing over here? Best you friend. would do that to your wife? Best friend pack, guys, come on. Best friend pack what? Protect each other. Protect each other for what? Oh. What's going on? I was just taking a look at this thing. What is that thing? That's the security panel. Oh. But you don't need that to MC a party. Correct. You know, I do need to MC a party, though. Uh, cake. Cake is next, everybody. Okay, Zamfam, I left them arguing, but I think now is the perfect opportunity for me to set up a prank, and I'm gonna prank Matt. Comment down below if you've seen what I'm about to wear, because I have no idea where I got it from. Here we go. All right, Sam Pam, is it just me, or is it a little suspicious that Jack, if that's his real name, was looking at the security panel? I'm gonna keep my eye on it. Comment below if you're also suspicious. Thank you, that was great. We're gonna go address the cake in the kitchen. Come on, let's go. Yeah, come on, Maddie. This is your party, and it should be for you. Okay, guys, come on, it's cake time. Maddie, I'm really sorry Matt pranked you at your own going away party. It's okay, I won't have to deal with that much longer. Oh man, Rebecca's super mad at me. Sam Pam, what do you think I should do? How can I make her not mad at me anymore? Hey, Daniel, what should I do to make Rebecca like super like me again. I have no idea. Oh my gosh! Here we go. To the porch pirate. What's that? The porch pirate. You stole like a ton of stuff. Same fam, do you remember what video that was from? You totally stole packages from my front door, including the thermal imaging scanner. Don't remember that. Okay, look at this beautiful cake. Surprise, Maddie. You're going away cake. It's an ice cream Oreo cake. I have seven candles. That is actually a good question, Sam fam. It's because Maddie, you lived with us for seven months, so it's one candle for every month she was here. Unless we want to do more candles, we could keep it going. There's already seven candles in the cake. Oh, one just went out. Let's see, there were seven candles in the cake. Dab them up right seven. Not a valid entry. <sighs> I guess with everything going on, I'm not gonna actually blow out the Oh candles. yeah, yeah, no. Make a wish about, you know, togetherness, okay. friends, staying here. Forever. No ghosts. I have my wish. <laughs> Thank you for the cake. Oh, of course. I mean, hopefully your wish was something to do with like friends and not be lonely, you know. I mean, I can't say what my wish is or it doesn't come true. Okay, good point. Would anyone like some cake? Wait, so Maddie, where are you living now? My address is four. Oh. Wait, Maddie, you are not supposed to say your address out loud. You never know who's listening. Yeah. Okay, yeah, good point. Good thing I only said my street number. That lives on number four. Maybe it's number four. Let's try number four. Not a valid entry. One more try until system lockdown. Oh, no. Okay. Cake? Oh, sure. Maddie, who's gonna cut your cake when you live by yourself? You don't need to cut your cake when it's for one. Oh! oh. oh. Matt, she just burned you! Oh. 
guys like the cake's great, but we're gonna go on to the present. This is the big one, the present. Come on. We wanna give you your present, yeah. Okay, Sam fam, I don't know what to do so far. It's not working. I mean, I think Maddie still wants to move out, but we still have the gifts left. Maybe the gifts will make her change her mind. I mean, she shouldn't be living alone. Aren't we all going to miss Maddie living here? You guys, comment below if you think Maddie should stay with us. Okay, hopefully these gifts work. Hey, Daniel, psst, look. I can't believe I'm talking to you right now, but have you noticed anything super sus about our Jack the MC host? Yeah, now that you mention it, there's that like green thing around his neck. I feel like I've seen that before. That's what it is. Wasn't it like around that Matt's best friend, Rick Noah person? Oh, uh, guys, guys, oh, I overheard what you guys are saying and it's not Rick Noah. I know it's not Rick Noah. I invited him to this party the other day and I just called to confirm that he was coming. He didn't answer, but I know it's not him. He didn't answer? Yeah. Maybe you're not best friends anymore. We're definitely best friends. Me. Daniel, you're my other best friend, okay? Okay, Sam fam, I got my own apartment because I just wanted to have my own place to study but now I'm kind of getting second thoughts I mean maybe living alone isn't the best idea but they threw me this amazing going away surprise party and I can't just like back out now and say that I want to stay here I don't know Zam fam what should I do do I move out or do I stay here to live with Rebecca comment down below what you think the right decision is Okay, Zam fam, I finally have a chance to announce the giveaway winners. Thanks to all of you guys that subscribed. And now, here are all of the winners. So congratulations to all of you guys that won. But if you did not win, I am doing one more giveaway for you guys today. If you won, you cannot enter. But anyone else can. It is for another iPhone 12. So if you want an iPhone 12, stay tuned till the end. Because I'm going to tell you how you can win that one. Thanks to all of you guys that are part of the Zam fam. Okay, Maddie, it is time for you. You to open our gifts now. We have to do this in a specific order. I'll go first. Yay! Oh, oh wow, okay, yay. I wonder what it is. Oh, it's color coded hacker wires. Ah! Two color coded hacker wires for your security parameters. Of course, it's color coded hacker wires. Thank you, Zoe. Daniel, be nice. Ooh. All right, I am up next, Maddie. You are my favorite cousin, and so I know you are going to love this. Oh, yeah, I'm really excited for this present. For presents. Oh, it's photos of you, Rebecca. Yeah, if you're gonna have an apartment and I can't be there with you, I'm gonna still be there with you. I'm gonna be watching you all the time. How many picture frames are there? Seven? Seven of my face in your apartment. You're welcome. I'm gonna give you a very special present. This means a lot to me. I'm kinda scared. Oh. Oh, nice. A nunchuck. Yeah, one nunchuck. I call this the best friend nunchuck. I have the other one, so we're best friends now. Thank you. You know, together we're nunchucks. Ooh. Why does she need a nunchuck, Matt? I'm self-defense. And also, if any boys come around. Or ghosts. Or burglars. Okay, well thanks, I, I feel safe now with that present. Okay, best for last. Oh, that's <laughs> debatable. Okay, I think this will go well next to your Shawn Mendes poster, just saying. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's gonna quite fit the same as I had it for this room here, but. Actually, I kind of found like the perfect spot in my apartment for it, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, hacking, hacking and snacking. Thanks, Daniel. You're such a good hacker now, you just gotta get that snacking down. Maddie, I just realized this would fit perfectly upstairs in the room, like right when you walk in on the right hand side. I think this is the perfect dimensions. You know what? This would actually go perfectly in my bathroom, like right next to the toilet. <laughs> Maddie, you're snacking in the bathroom? That's gross. It does kind of save a trip though. Oh. So Maddie, you have all of the gifts from us, but did you notice anything kind of special about it? They're all really thoughtful. Zoe, how many hacker wires did you give her? Two. And I gave you seven framed photos of me. And I gave you one nunchuck. And one hacking and snacking poster. Get it? No. Two, seven, one, one. Your, Your lucky, lucky number. number. Alright, this is insane. Who's got a four digit lucky number? Okay, 711. This is gonna work. Here we go. Scanning Maddie's favorite number. Code accepted. I require a retinal scan from Matt. Alright, I'll scan. That'll be easy. Okay, I think we know that we need to go a little bit more extreme, you guys, now. Almost done with okay. the party. Extreme. More extreme. Oh, extreme. yeah. Okay. Woo. Okay, everybody, come on in. We're going to take a picture. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Everyone just get all together. I'll grab this picture. Okay, you guys, everyone, get ready. This is the last photo that we are taking before Maddie officially moves out, unless she changes her mind, which we're totally okay with that, right, Matt? Exactly. There's plenty of room for her. But, you know, I was reading that, you know, the loneliest people, they live alone. Really? Oh, no. Yeah. 
They also have the most cat, like over a hundred. I was just looking at Reader's Digest and they said that at UCLA, there's no longer any single men. What? They're all gone. Mm -hmm. So you'll never be able to get a boyfriend. It would be a lot easier here. I mean, we have a movie theater. Yeah, unless your boyfriend is a burglar. And who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters? Yeah, I mean, I you could date a ghost. I looked up your building, it's pretty haunted. They said it wasn't haunted. I specifically asked. Let's take this picture. This looks great. Matt, glasses off, please. Oh, yeah, you got it. Cool, thank you very much. Everyone smile. And get ready. All right, it's amazing. I right, well, want you guys take some selfies. You got a great little backdrop here. Have some fun, all right? Cool. Awesome, all right. Okay, Maddie, let's take one together. Okay. Here, here. Okay, okay, okay. Daniel and I need a best friend photo, too. Okay, yeah. go ahead. You can do it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Sam fam, my suspicions of Jack are completely valid now. I'm gonna see if I can hack into his phone to see what kind of picture he took. Matt's retinal scan complete. Access granted. Wait a minute. This picture is just of Matt's eye. Why would he need a picture of Matt's eye? I'm like, good. I wanna see everything. Careful, there's someone watching you. Wait, security panel? Matt's eye? I'm gonna follow him, hacking and tracking. Rebecca, can I talk to you real fast? Yeah, of course. Okay, so originally I wanted to move out because of school, but no, that's not happening, but I just feel like I really need to move out because part of growing up is just being independent and I feel like I'm not independent if I'm living here with you, but I don't know, now I'm second guessing myself and I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can live alone. No, 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 no. Okay, listen, I, I'm gonna be honest. You know, at first today, I, I didn't really want you to leave. I, I didn't want you to move out, but, but you do need to experience things and be independent and you're such a strong girl. You can do this, you can move out. I don't know, but now I'm scared. Like, what if I'm lonely? Or there's ghosts or I never get a boyfriend because I'm you, living alone. No, 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 you can always, okay, none of that is true. You can always come back here, okay? Like, I don't think I can do it. No, you can do it, Maddie. I have to go, I'm gonna clean up the wrapping paper really quick. I'm okay. gonna do that. I'm just gonna stay here. Oh no, Maddie, are you crying because you're never gonna date a boy again? Or maybe you're just gonna miss my sweet face every single day. Just go away, Matt. Okay. I'm fine. I'm gonna go take this outside. All right, Zampian, I'm gonna go confront Jack with this photo because he must be working for Kingpin. Zampian, I feel so bad. I feel so selfish. I mean, I put on this party for her because I wanted to convince her not to move out and all she wants to do is to be independent and to grow up. Do you think I should try to convince her to move out? This party just went so wrong. <sighs> Oh my gosh, hello? Where am I? You're at my house, what are you doing at my house? I was supposed to MC the party. No, 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 we already have another Jack MC in the party. What time is it? It's nighttime. Oh no, I gotta get back to my wife and kids. Your I didn't sign up for this. What? Him, did you hear that? The Jack said that he was here to MC the party. What do you think happened? Do you think someone gave him sleep cloud? If that is supposed to be the real Jack that I hired to MC the party, who is the other one? Oh no, I have to tell the others. Guys, not the real Jack! Guys, it's not the real Jack! What, 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 what? Wait, what's going it's, on? That's not the real Jack! What do you mean that's not the real Jack? I mean, the real Jack was tied up. Someone is pretending to be him. Someone is tricking us right now. He's right there outside. You guys, we have to travel. We have to do a face reveal. Go, 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 go! go. go, go. Get him, get him! Get him, get him! Get him. Get him. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Go, go, move, move, move. Get in, get him in. Right here, right here, right here. Jack, what are you doing at our party? I don't know, I don't know why that. No, no, he's lying, liar. You're right, Daniel. He needs to do a face reveal. Zampam, smash the thumbs up if you think that we should do a face reveal. I bet it's Rick Noah. Yeah, no okay. way, guys, no way. Okay, well, we are going to find out right now. Are you guys ready? Face reveal in three, two, two one. one. <gasps> Halloween hacker? What are you doing here? I don't know how I got here. I don't know what's going on. Why are you pretending to be Jack? I'm not pretending to be anybody. What are you guys talking about? Wait, how did your voice change? Haven't you ever heard of the mask with a voice changer? You're an imposter. Are you working for Kingpin or something? Where's my best friend? No, you guys know this. I don't work with anybody. Look, you have to just trust me, all right? Get out of your Halloween hacker. I never want to see you again. Maddie. Get out right now. Ooh, did you see that? He just left. Now I know what Connor was talking about. Bye, Halloween hacker. I am so glad he is gone because I have the biggest surprise for my little brother tomorrow and I can't have him ruining it. So make sure you subscribe to the Matt and Rebecca channel because you will not want to miss this. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a huge surprise. Also, if you want a chance to win the iPhone 12, make sure that you are subscribed with notifications on. Click all, give the video a thumbs up, comment below that you did all that and the best way to contact you on social media. So Maddie, obviously with all of this going on, I totally understand understand why you are nervous about moving out and so I just want to let you know that you can stay here as long as you want, okay? Are you kidding me? That totally just proved that I can handle myself. Wait, so you're gonna move out? Yep. 